Well, guys, since I'm leaving drag racing at the end of the year, I'd still like to be involved in some capacity. So let's go look around and see what I might possibly be doing next year. Come on. Maybe I could be a facilities manager. Hey, Gavin. Come hey, on in. how you doing? All right. Oh, God. Maybe I could work in the snack bar. Hey, get your cheese curds. Who wants a cheese curd? Here, here you go, buddy. Hey, all right. How about you? Oh, here's a big guy. Hey, hey. Hey, how about you, sweetie? Come on in. Oh, there you go. Maybe I could be a television director. Cut eight. Cut you. Cut me. Cut him. Cut 85. Dissolve. Back on. Cut on. Yes. Cut off. 86. Wake up. Cut him. 22. Cut back on. 88. Cut. Dissolve. Cut. Yeah. I got it going on. I think I found my calling. Now, Gary Selzy is actually driving the race car today, not direct in TV, but I think you do that pretty well. Is there a chance you might be doing that next year instead of coming back to drive one of these funny cars? I think ESPN about freaked when I walked in there and started directing, as you can see by the real producer's face. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what about next year? I know last week you were telling me you just had some fantastic offers that you couldn't believe. Uh, are we going to see you back? I mean, how close to a decision are you? Honestly, I'm probably 95% away from not making a deal, but I've had uh, I've had some pretty interesting offers, one that includes an airplane and one that includes half ownership in a funny car team. But, you know, I don't want to own a team. I just want to be able to get from home on Thursday afternoons to be home on Sunday nights. And, you know, I was just flattered at the offers that I have received. And then, you know, Don talked to me on Friday, you know, about possibly staying one more year to work some things out with him. So. I mean, I'm listening and, uh, and I'm flattered, but right now I'm going to tell you I'm probably still going to be home next year. So my offer of a Cessna 152 two-seater to take you back and forth is not going to work? No, it would work, but you flying it, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have a chance this weekend to win some rounds and move up in the standings to, to better yourself going into Indy for the countdown to four. You know, is that the goal? What are you guys doing in order to achieve that? Well, I'm going to tell you, Todd is really aggressive, and uh, Beckman and those guys went out first. We saw what happened to their car. We we made some major changes last night because we're in, so it doesn't really matter. But we want to be third, and there's a chance we can do that. And if we can take Robert out and we can go a few rounds here, there's a real strong possibility. We don't want to give away anything going into this countdown. And uh, Mopar and Oakley, I think, would like to see us third if we can do that because this is going to get ugly. How about a 172? It's got four seats, and I've got a lot of hours flying it, and I'm instrument rated, Gary. 172, I'm not good at math. What does that equal out to? <laughs> that equals out to about it take us five days to get to the race. The race will be over before we get there. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gary. Good luck. All right, thank you.